Good morning, everybody. It's Detail Dave. Thought I'd come up with a quick video. I'm washing my wife's car. It's a fairly new Acura. I don't remember the year, but I was just going to talk about some products that uh, that I found and uh, I'm using for the first time. I just bought them in uh, in the local area where I'm from, and uh, I'd like to share it with you. That's my stool. But like I said, this is Acura. The, I'm going to be doing the wheel cleaning just like you would using uh, the wheel woolies. I just got the wheel woolies. Um, it was the first set of three. It was like 50 bucks. Probably could have got them cheaper, but like I said, I shop local. I try to support my local businesses. The uh, they're the original wheel woolies. Obviously, small. Let me grab this one. Medium or a large excuse me medium and then small obviously the small one is for getting in the tighter areas medium and and so forth obviously if you're watching this you detail or at least have an interest what i want to talk to you about is the stuff i'm using for the first time from majestic solutions it's out of north carolina out of raleigh both their wheel bright and the green stuff i diluted it as per the instructions actually when i bought this stuff they gave me a detailed book about how to dilute it what can you what you need to do and, and they were very good source of information i'm uh i'm new to detailing obviously i've done a lot of research i've uh watched a lot of videos monyc i talk about him in some of my videos he's a he's an excellent resource very detailed uh the uh, detail geek out of canada my the northern friends what's up but they're really good, they're very detailed, and they find out, and you can really extract a lot of information based on their technique, application, and what tools they use. Uh, like I said, I'm fairly new at this, I diluted it. I got these bottles here, red and green. I marked them for safety. With the with that dilution rate, I touched it while it was, uh, <laughs> it was still drying, so it looks messed up. And then uh, the super green stuff here. I'm gonna use this product, clean it, that to neutralize it. But first, obviously, I have uh, I use uh, the two bucket method and a separate bucket for my wheels. Um, along with the wheel willies, I use a uh, finite detail brush. I got this off of Amazon. Um, if you watch any detail videos, it's there. A lot of them are the same. A lot of them are, are different. Um, of course, a sponge to scrub some some of the other stuff and a uh, couple of uh, different old school Will Willies. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get <laughs> drip soap all over the wherever I touch the inside of my bucket. For my bucket soap here, I'm using some Meguiar's wash and wax. I haven't bought any soap from any detail shops yet. I'm just trying to, like I said, I'm fairly new at this. I'm just trying to get, uh, get accustomed to using some of those products and take this one step at a time and uh, not just rush in and spend a bunch of money and, and get stuff that I'm not familiar with, I don't know how to use, or that I'm not familiar with. Like I said, this is a, this is an Acura. We're gonna, of course, wet it down first. Then uh, use, use the varying products here. You know, clean the inside of the fender well. You see how dirty it is. And I'm filming this on my phone again. So, clean start on uh on the outside here use all-purpose cleaner that simple green stuff yeah and if you forget it even tells you how to dilute it uh description of what it does how it works what you can use it on they give you a book in there of their products but they also tell you uh what to uh dilute dilute it what uh scales to use and stuff like that and I, I know I jump talk on here, but um, outside the rim scrub, I got a special scrub bus for that. And then I'm going to use the Will Woolies on the inside here, uh, starting large, working my way that to 12 o'clock, then work my way around down to each side, jumping back and forth and let the soap actually do its job flowing down. Uh, I start with a wet wheel because I want to make sure that um, the products adhere to something if, and plus if I can use my uh, the pressure washer to uh, to go ahead and you know burn through that and you know get some of the, 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 the bigger stuff off I'll be good 
but that's how I'm going to do it. I, I can't wash and hold my phone at the same time. I don't have a lot of the fancy contraptions like some of y'all do. So uh, I'll, uh, I'll take another little snippet of video after I'm done to uh, let you know how it turns out. This is uh, Detail Dave. Like I said, I'll be back with the final product. Hey, everybody. Just thought I would follow up with the video. This is the final results of the rim cleaning. I used the, the Will Willies and the other stuff at the beginning of the video. I think it turned out really good. Uh, my wife was pretty happy with it. What, uh, what I learned about using that stuff is dwell time you know making making sure that you're you're very detailed a lot of times this is my first time using the will willies but to actually get back in here and get behind behind the wheels obviously i'm still practicing but uh getting the front part of the wheel clean is 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 super easy the uh it's the the not only this uh super green and uh the other stuff from Majestic Solutions worked very well, but uh, you know the brushes work very well as what well. you know. Also the uh, getting back in there, but uh, here's the final product. Uh, hopefully you guys like it. Give me a thumbs up. This is uh, Detail Dave. Thanks for viewing.